So you add about three spoons of oil on medium heat. Then you add your onions and fry till they are translucent. Don't wait for them to brown. So it's important to keep stirring just to ensure that the onions are evenly cooked and they don't get burnt. Yeah, it's important. The stirring process is quite important. Don't ignore it. Ideally, <laughs> you should wait until the onions acquire the transparent or lucent color, which I think mine have acquired because I don't want them to brown. I want them to just be that color then I add the garlic so at this point you can add ginger but my kids don't like ginger so I didn't put in ginger, ginger but you can if you like it so after two minutes you add your Tomatoes. I blended meant you onions. add your blended tomatoes. I don't know why I kept saying you add your blended onions. Blended tomatoes. Tom Connor. So after you've added in your tomatoes, you also add in sugar like a quarter cup. Yeah, you add it sugar. If you have brown sugar, it's more preferred. But if you don't have brown sugar, white sugar will do. So yeah, at this point, you add your sugar and stir. Don't stop stirring the whole entire process. You stir as frequently. So to balance the sugar, you add one spoon of salt. Just to make sure the tastes are balanced. And you stir properly to ensure the salt is evenly distributed in the sauce. Imagine this is when I noticed my camera was not showing, was not recording properly. So now uh, it has behaved. It is recording properly. Oh. Danias kama kawaida, I add them. If you have black pepper at this point or any other pepper that you'd like, you can add. Personally, I didn't add any. Yeah, you can add black pepper or any other pepper, but I didn't add. my. For me, Dania was enough. So, yeah. So, Dania is in a float up with you. It already looks good. So at this point, you can test the salt and the sugar just to make sure they are the proportions that you want. And then you can also add some pili pili if you are the person who likes some heat on your sauce. But as I said earlier, I'm preparing this for kids, so I can't add the pili pili for their sake. Yeah, so you just let this boil on low heat 
hiyo bubbling inanyonyesha moto ni mingi so i have to reduce it but you boil it for let's say 20 to 30 minutes so let me reduce the heat and allow it to boil then when we'll come for the final part 30 minutes zimeisha so let's pour everything into the blender for the final step Personally, I wait for the soup to cool for around 5 minutes before I pour it into the blender. I don't like blending it while it's still hot. So, nangoja kidogo, then I pour it into the blender. Ready to prepare the sauce. So there you have it, as thick as I wanted it to be, and it tastes so nice. Na kwambia after you've eaten this thing, utajiuliza what were you buying ukikula tomato sauce, like you will never want to buy tomato sauce again. This, this is pure magic. So yeah. Until next time. Bye.